Welcome back. In this video, we are going to pick up a Spring Boot application that has been configured inside GitHub and we are going to create a Azure AML pipeline. Using that AML pipeline, we are going to create a Docker image. Once we create the Docker image, we will upload the Docker image into Azure Container Registry. So it's a very simple use case. So this is my Spring Boot application that has been configured inside GitHub and we are going to create Azure AML pipeline. Using the Azure AML pipeline, we are going to uh, create the Docker image and then upload the Docker image into Azure Container Registry. So since this is a uh, Spring Boot application, we also need to create the JAR file as well. Using Maven, we will actually do that. So let's get started. So if you look at the prerequisite, yes, we need to have Azure subscription. Uh, we are going to uh, upload the Docker image into Azure Container Registry, right? So we need to have ACR created, and then we also need to have our Azure DevOps dashboard, okay, project dashboard. So this is this is mine, okay. So I have several projects, but I'm going to pick up one of the project, and then I'm going to build AML pipeline, and then we also need to have a Docker file created. So as part of my Spring Boot app setup, I also have Palm Red XML file. So this is a Palm Red XML file, and then I also have docker file created as well so as you can see here so we will build this jar file using maven and then we will uh, you know build this uh, docker image we will build the docker image using docker file all right so let's get started so first of all we need to create a resource group right isn't it because any resources that you are going to create in azure cloud it is better you know you, you have a resource group created but if you already have existing resource group, you can go ahead and then create Azure Container Registry under that resource group. So that's not a problem based on based on whatever the requirement is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and then create Azure uh, resource group. So I'm going to go ahead and then create resource group in Azure Cloud. So, but before that, we need to log in into uh, Azure Cloud. But again, there are so many ways you can actually do that, but I'm going to keep uh, the video very simple so i'm going to use azure cli command in order to create the resources but again you can also use terraform or you can also use uh, you know um, azure rm templates there are so many ways you can create resources in azure cloud but like i said i'm going to use azure cli so let's try to uh, you know log in into azure cloud first but again you also need to have if you if you wanted to do this way you need to have azure cli installed on your local machine it could be your Windows machine or it could be your you know, MacBook, it doesn't matter. Azure CLI can be easily installed. So once you install Azure CLI, you can perform this command. So this is going to go ahead and then open up my Microsoft account. So I'm going to just click on it. So now I am successfully logged in into Azure Cloud. So I'm going to go ahead and then, this is the subscription ID, I'm going to go ahead and then enter. So perfect, right? So I have successfully logged in into Azure Cloud, perfect. So now, Let's go ahead and then create resource group uh, in Azure Cloud. So I'm going to go ahead and then copy this. Okay, there you go. So now the resource group got created. Let me clear the terminal here. And then we need to go ahead and then create our ACR, which is nothing but Azure Container Registry. So again, uh, you need to give a unique name for your container registry. So make sure, you know, when you create that container registry you give that uh, but I think this is already good I already tested so I'm going to go ahead and then copy this and then go ahead and then execute this command so this will go ahead and then create uh, you know Azure container registry under that resource group I think this is done so let's go ahead and then verify that so let me log in into Azure portal so this is my Azure portal so click on resource groups okay there you go so this was the resource group that we created a few seconds ago there you go you can see here so this is my azure container registry perfect okay i think so far so good all right so now all we have to do is uh, go ahead and then create azure aml pipeline so like i said we are not going to use classic pipeline so we are going to go ahead and then create aml pipeline so let me go to my project uh, dashboard so this is my uh, you know organization dashboard and like i said i have several projects uh, let me just pick up some some project here right and then i'm going to click on pipelines 
okay so go ahead and then click on new pipeline so this is where i'm going to go ahead and then create a new pipeline so if you are going to establish a connection for the very first time with github you need to create service connection but if you're going to uh, do it for the very first time also you can also you know select uh, github because that is where our source code is there uh, i have already created service connection and whatnot so that's why i'm able to see all my repositories but if you are doing for the first time uh, you can also go to service connection and then you know click on new service connection and you can select github and then you can go ahead and then provide your credentials and then register the service connection i mean either way is fine but anyway so we have already done that so i'm going to go ahead and then select the repository while creating pipeline Okay, so this is my repository, so Docker Spring Boot. Okay, so if you actually see here, there are several options, right? So uh, Microsoft have various templates for us to use depending on the use case. So basically we wanted to create the Docker image and then upload the Docker image into Azure Container Registry, right? So I think this is good enough. We can go ahead and then you know select this particular template. So let's select this one. And then let's select our subscription because uh, since we are going to upload into Azure Cloud, we need to pick up our Azure Container Registry, right? Um, so for that, you have to select the subscription. And then let me enter my Microsoft credentials. Okay, so I have selected the Microsoft credentials. And then if you actually see here, we should be able to see our registry. There you go. You can see here, right? And then, yeah, you can give a image name. If you want you can modify it i think I'm, I'm okay with this and then this is the docker file the location of the docker file so if you actually see here it is in the root of the directory so that that's totally fine so that's it right and then go ahead and then click on validate and configure so this should generate the azure AML pipeline for us let's see Perfect. So as you can see here, the pipeline code has been generated, uh, but we are not done yet, right? I know this has the task for building and uh, uploading the Docker image into ACR, but if you actually see our application is Spring Boot application, right? So we also need to, uh, if you see the Docker file, we need to make sure that we have this uh, Spring Boot jar file creator, right? So this is where we are actually going to use Maven uh, to do the task, okay? So what I'm going to do, uh, let me go here. So I'm going to uh, use this assistant and then search for Maven task. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up this particular task. Okay, uh, we don't need to worry about this uh, ARM connection. I'm going to leave that as it is. And then goal is fine. I think that's pretty much over there. I'm not doing any uh, code coverage or static code analysis uh, as part of this demo. Uh, but I think we are good. Let's click on add. There you go, guys. You can see here, right? So now this has automatically created, uh, you know, AML pipeline code for us. I think that's pretty much over there. So we actually have two different tasks here, right? One is for building the jar file. And then another one is for, uh, you know, creating the Docker image and then pushing the Docker image into ACR. So that's pretty much over there. And then you can also see here, um, you know, this is where, you know, we are like mentioning, these are all auto created, right? All these values are auto created uh, in, in the previous step, right? So what is the uh, ACR name and then, you know, what is the image repository and, and everything is, is being created here. And then this is also like dynamic, uh, you know, tagging, right? Build out build ID. So this would, uh, you know, based on the build number, it would automatically add the tag to our Docker image. So this is completely a dynamic way of uh, creating a Docker image. I think so far so, so good. And then we are also going to use uh, this agent, okay, uh, which is nothing but Azure DevOps hosted agent. If you are actually going to use your custom build agent, you can also do that as well. You need to configure that separately. Feel free to do that, okay? So I think that's good. And then let's go ahead and then click on save and run. And I'm okay to commit the code directly into master branch under under my repository 
So let's click on save and run. Awesome. So as you can see here, now the pipeline kick started. All right, so Maven build is happening right now as we speak. So the Docker image also being created. Wonderful. So right now it is in the process of pushing the Docker image into ACR. Wow. So the pipeline is done. Okay, the pipeline run is done. So let's actually go to ACR and then verify that. So this is the resource group. Okay, and then this is our ACR. And then you need to go to repositories under services. And then this is our repositories. You can click on it and then there you go. So this is where our image have been uploaded and then with the dynamic tagging, right? So this 3403 is nothing but the build number, right? Which is actually coming from Azure DevOps pipeline, the build ID. So when you build next time, you would actually see the unique, uh, you know, tag over here, right? Maybe 3404 or something like that, right? So yeah, so this is how guys, you know, this is how you can actually uh, create a Docker image using Azure AML pipeline for your Spring Boot application and then upload the Docker image into Azure Container Registry. Thank you for watching my video guys. Uh, one thing before, before I let you all go, it is also good practice to, uh, you know, clean up the resources as well. So do not forget it. Don't leave your resources running in Azure Cloud. So as part of best practice, let's also go ahead and then perform this particular command as well in order to clean up the resources as well. So let me go ahead and then say yes. So I'll say why. Okay, so this will go ahead and then clean up the resources as well. So yeah, so thank you for watching this video, guys. Appreciate it.